Okay, so what I've done now is that I've downloaded the file for um, Firefox and I'm now going to install it. So um, the next step is to run the installer. Okay, so once you've double clicked on the installer for Firefox, it's a good idea to go to the options before you um, install because we don't want it necessarily to be your um, default browser. So you want to check and maybe have a look at these and make sure that this is actually what you want. So I don't want to do that. Um, I don't mind if it updates in the background. Um, on my taskbar, no, I just want it actually on my desktop because I'm just using it to get the plugin for Chrome. So then I click install. Now of course this is only going to work if you actually have access to admin rights to your computer in your classroom. Um, if you don't, then the thing to do would be to talk to your technician and explain to him and give him the perhaps give him the help sheet that we've provided and he can then follow the links and do these things for you. Or she, of course. Okay, so when you look at this, import settings and data, you don't want to import anything if it's just for um, this particular purpose. So we then click on next. Um, we're not going to set it as the default, we say not now. And now the next thing we want to do is to get the plugin. So the address is get .adobe dot com forward slash flash player we don't want McAfee and we want to install it now Okay, so now what we're going to do is we should be able to just close this and have a look at our plugin. Close tabs, let's go to our plugins, refresh. Let's have a look in here and see what we've got now. There we go, we've got NPAPI. So we can now enable that. Okay. And now when we go back to the sandpit, let's refresh. Click up here, it says always allow plugins. Done. And now let's try it, share my screen. And voila, look at that, perfection. Very good.